Oh, that was the best one yet. Man, that felt good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the only specimen I could find. Since I make a lot of bamboo bows, I don't have a lot of staves anymore these days. And uh, this is just a solid piece of hickory that's probably two years old. And yeah, as you can see, it's got a little bend in it, but I'll work that out. It's 78 inches tip to tip, which I'm going to lose some of that length. But we'll make her do. So, if you follow my channel, this video might seem a little bit different, but not so much because I'm an experimental bowyer and an experimental archer. And a couple of videos recently, actually one posted today, and um, it's kind of funny because I'm working on a video in response to his first video. But they, they intrigued me, perked my interest because of two things that he brought up. And that gentleman's channel is Shadowversity. And the first video is, now I have it written down so I don't make this, make a mistake of the title. It's Secrets of the Medieval Longbow. And that was posted about a week ago. And the second one, which was just posted today, and uh, today being March 4th, Doing the Impossible in Medieval Archery with Lars Anderson. Excellent video, excellent content. It's very controversial and I love that kind of stuff. I love when people say something is impossible and then someone goes out and proves it. And that makes me happy. So he is awesome for doing that. And for getting Lars involved is even more incredible. All right, Dave, so what the heck are you, what are you doing? Why are you getting involved? Well, a couple of reasons. I shoot on both sides of the bow. I'm an archer that I shoot split finger, on Mediterranean style, and I shoot on the opposite side of the bow, you know, around the bow, as people will call it. I can shoot thumb draw, pinch draw, and Slavic, also, you know, or Saracen method. And just shooting with one above and two below intrigued me. I knew it was possible. I've never tried it. And it's part of the reason, because what Shad said, it's just immediately you have an issue, so I would fix that issue by using a modified Saracen draw. But that's not the main reason. The main reason is I wanted to see if it could be done with a war bow accurately. I was so curious that I went out and being a bow maker, I went out and made an 85 pound hickory war bow, long bow, it's not really, I know war bow is anything over 70 pounds, but I don't consider it a war bow. I've shot over hundred pounds before, that was years ago. And a lot of you may know that I was suffering some, for some major back issues these past year and a half. And that brings up my other point, which is that Shad said when he shot, on this side of the bow, and in order to draw it to keep the arrow on, or when he when he drew back, it he felt no pain. I'm curious because I still have back problems. I've just kind of tried to overcome them in my own natural way. But I still make bows and I still shoot bows. I had a lot of downtime. Now I'm getting back to it. I surely don't shoot 85 pound bows. I usually don't shoot anything over 50 pounds. So I made this bow and I want to see what that does as far as the draw technique and how it changes. Because when I shoot on this side of the bow, I still tilt the bow like this and I draw and shoot. So by him initializing the draw by rotating his arm like this and then drawing back, he's saying that makes a difference. Well, I'm going to find out. Placing the arrow on the right side of the bow. Grabbing it with one finger over, two under. And then rotating back a little bit and drawing. 
I must say that feels pretty good. I didn't get the full draw. Oh, that is pretty easy. And I think I just went past 85 pounds because this was this was 85 at 31, and these arrows are 33 inches. Yeah, I'm probably getting closer to in the 90s. Oh, heck yeah, man. <laughs> okay, so going back to this side of the bow, what people normally do, I teach archery as well, is I see a lot of curling of the string, and that usually happens when people use a lot of bicep, you know, especially when they're switching from a compound bow to a traditional bow or a primitive bow. They start, they start to draw with their bicep, and it pulls the arrow away from the string because they're torquing the string. So going back to this side of the bow, as Shad said, do reverse torque, which is now it's basically the same torque that you were doing on the other side of the bow. So you're torquing it so the arrow stays, okay? So you're doing reverse torque. Okay, that coupled with your thumb as a guide works perfectly. So, he already proved that I knew it wasn't impossible to shoot, to shoot or draw on this side of the bow because I've done that, but using split finger, just as it is on the, on, when shooting on the other side of the bow, is what I was curious about, but more so not hurting my back shooting in 85 or now 90 plus draw weight. So Shad, thank you for that. I have learned something and that just goes to show you that everyone needs to be open and go at life as, you know, half full and always be open to learn something. Because now, not that I'm gonna shoot heavy bows, that's not my enjoyment, uh, but now I have something else to try and teach people if they, in fact, want to try and shoot something heavy or learn how to shoot on the other side of the bow with split finger. Very awesome. I love when things are proven and they're so simple, but yet the majority, or at least it seems like the majority, just all of a sudden just write it off as impossible. And that makes me laugh. I'm still gonna use both eyes open, but obviously now this is gonna put the bow in my face. Because normally when I shoot, I shoot like this, so I can see my point of impact, what I wanna hit with both eyes, because I shoot with both eyes. So when I do this, it's kind of blocking my vision. So I'm gonna try a couple things and we're gonna see what happens. Didn't affect anything. I think I came over enough, to be honest with you, I think I, I think I instinctively just moved over enough so that I could see still with both eyes. There we go, okay. So, I'm not sure if that's exactly the way it's supposed to be done for everybody, but that's the way it's working for me so far. Now, mind you, this is my first time trying this on camera, and this is my first time in a long time shooting 85, 90 pounds. Those arrows are about 700 grains. And they're, like I said, 33 inches. So like I said, this is, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna see how far I can draw it. <laughs> Let's do the one, two. Now, of course, holding bows and holding arrows in your hand depending on the size of the bow you have, because these war bows can get pretty girthy, especially if made out of you. So this may not be feasible. Be more likely to have them in your, in your belt or in a hip quiver and pulling them. And possibly even from the back. I'd like to see someone try that. From the back, slap it down and do that. But most likely you'd see it on the hip. Yeah. All right, one last time before I give my fingers a rest. Oh, that was the best one yet. Man, that felt good. This is 
awesome. And literally, I feel no back pain. And for me to do that with, you know, possibly 90 pounds, it's pretty cool. Thanks, Chad. So what did I learn from this? What I learned, I don't know what you learned, and really it was just to, uh, to say thank you to Shad publicly on video and uh, because this is right up my alley. I'm not a his history guy, but I am experimental in archery and bow making. And uh, it was fun to make one. I made these years ago. I haven't made one in a while and especially 85 to 90 pounds. So for me, what I learned is something new. And I thank you for that. I'm able to shoot on this side of the bow in another way and I'm able to draw in another way that that gives me more strength. So thank you for that. Go watch his videos. Experiment, explore, don't trust everything you've read. Go out and try it on your own. See you guys next time. So real quick before we go, I just wanted to try and see how much strength I still had because my fingers are starting to kill me so I put my finger tab on. Oh yeah, my back. 